Hey, welcome to another fun and exciting video. So what I'm doing in this video is giving you a quick overview, demo, review, etc. of the cloud retailer point of sale system. I've really been impressed with this software. It's got a couple of really cool things going for it. One, it's already in use at stores. It seems like there's so many folks developing point of sale systems that seem to go nowhere. Uh, but this is live and it's real and it, folks are using it. Um, the other cool things I like about cl Cloud Retailer is that this is a highly customizable system. If you need something basic, it can be basic. If you're a more complex operation, it can be complex. If you have multiple locations, it can be multi-location. You know, the core software is there and then it can be built upon that. Um, for example, it's already been customized for the liquor store type market, as well as the trampoline park market. And you think those are two very different types of retail operations. But here's one program that can adapt to work with both. The other couple of cool things I want to quickly note, you know, I try not to make these videos too much talky but I'd like to hit some of the highlights up front and then we can dive into looking at the actual software. And I do try to keep these fairly short so you're not uh, falling asleep as you're watching this. But again, the other two things I would like to touch on are one, uh, even though this is quote unquote a cloud-based point of sale system, it can still run locally. Uh, for example, I'm running it right now on a Surface Pro 4 which also means, hey, it works on mobile devices and it is touchscreen friendly in addition to, you know, using the barcode scanner and things like that. Uh, pricing is also kind of cool because it it falls in between. It seems like these days systems are either you, you pay up front or you pay an ongoing monthly fee. With this one, you pay mostly up front, but yet there is still an ongoing monthly fee for support and updates and things like that. Uh, it's more nominal than some of the more expensive cloud-based systems. So not quite as expensive as buying everything up front, but not a tremendously large ongoing monthly fee. So, okay. I'll quickly cover the point of sale screen here, and then we'll dive over into the manager and hit the highlights of that part of the software. So again, this is all customizable. This particular version is set up for a liquor store. That's why we see things like keg rentals and cool stuff like that. First, and I realize I'm using the mouse, so I can be using the touch screen as well. We can look up a customer, we can scan their driver's license, uh, we can do all sorts of things to put attach a customer to a sale. So I am just going to Type in their first name and do a search. Oh, look who showed up. And so we'll select them. And then uh, I do have my barcode scanner hooked up. I just realized I have nothing in the database that I can scan. So we'll go ahead and select the item. And we can see kind of our basic thing here with our quantity, price, uh, got options for discounts. We've got options like for, there's a good way of showing how you can just add an item to the transaction through the touch screen. Um, <laughs> I kind of like the start over button. I have not seen that in a point of sale system before, so that's pretty cool. If you're completely lost, it's like, <laughs> I just want to start over. Um, hopefully you never get to that, but reality is, you know, you get a flustered cashier, new employee, stuff like that. Uh, it's nice to know that they can start over. So that's kind of the highlights of the point of sale part of. So at this point, then we've completed the transaction and we'd want to tender the sale. The easiest thing to do here is we can go to our amount due. And let's say, oh, let's make it easy. They're just doing amount, exact amount. Uh, and then we do have 
the good option of printing a receipt or emailing the receipt. And we'll just kind of close out of that for now. So let's hop over to the management part of the software. And this part of it is accessible via the internet through uh, your browser. So this is nice. I get a lot of folks, you know, they just, they need a break. And so when they're home, they like to then take care of, you know, looking at reports, maybe doing some ordering and things like that. So this makes it very easy to accomplish that by logging in from home or wherever you are to take care of your business needs. So we're just going to kind of go down the left-hand side here. We start off with our home screen, which kind of shows our our sales and things like that. Looks like I uh, need to be selling some more stuff. And of course, our option for our different locations. If we go over to products, then that's where we can look at our items, do take care of our categories, sizes, things like that. We can go to our reports. And this is really flexible as far as, you know, what reports are here, what reports are can be added. Uh, it's really uh, just amazingly flexible, which is not a word that's always used with point-of-sale systems, or it's used in conjunction with do you have 15 grand to get what you want. So I, I like that. Next option is our tools. Just kind of uh, little things related to uh, printing barcode labels, transfers, inventory counts, things like that. And then we have our admin, which gets into, you know, setting up our, our discounts, gift cards, label templates, uh, just really any sort of that manager, ownership type setup type system maintenance type stuff. So all in all, a very flexible system. Uh, let's see. We'll hit two more highlights because folks always ask about this. So let's uh, look at your options for adding products. And I'm not going to actually add one. I just want you to be able to see the various fields because uh, that gives you a great idea of the capabilities of the program. So again this is specific to a liquor store so we see our different size options. We have our departments, categories, subcategories, notes about the item, if there's any sort of a tag along product, alternate lookup codes for the item. We have our retail price whether it's taxable and then we have our pricing levels. Where this comes in handy is if you offer like a preferred or a loyalty price or possibly a wholesale price, uh, things like that. We can do sales. We can set high and low boundaries on the pricing. We have some override options. And then we get down into things with the, uh, the product itself. So a lot of flexibility here. I know I'm not explaining everything, but then we'd be looking at another half hour video, which I know folks don't not, do not want to sit through. Uh, so let's take a look at a report, which is also another common request. So I wanted to pull up uh, one of the reports just because that's the other question I get a lot. Folks want to see what the reports look like. And obviously, again, this can get very detailed, very in-depth, but here's what is called an in-stock but not recently sold. So basically, stuff that's on hand that is probably gathering dust and needs to be moved out of your store. Uh, so this gives you a good idea of what the reports look like. Good way to kind of filter the data or even resort according to what is important to you. So that's an uh, example of the report. So I'll scroll down, scroll down so you can see the whole thing here. And of course we have our us usual options for saving, you know, doing the PDF, printing, 
and stuff like that. And so we'll set one up really quick here. So you can see that's what the reports look like. Again, this is just meant to be a highlight video. Nothing too terribly in-depth, but give you a kind of a quick overview. Uh, if you do need more details, I will put my contact information in the video description and definitely can discuss in further detail about your business, what you're searching for in a point of sale system, and if Cloud Retailer is a good match or a great match. Thanks for watching.